Hi, and welcome to Good House 1968. My name is Brother White, and what I do is I read and interpret from the Hebrew Bible, the Tanaka. It's the original version from which the King James Version was interpreted from the scrolls. I have some commercial announcements. And if you would like a Bible, give me a call at 312-925-9887. And I'll send you a Bible. If you need auto body supplies and parts and vehicle parts, go to partsautomotive.biz. P-A-R-T-S automotive.biz. B-I-Z. Looking for trampoline parts and supply? Call 877-934-2706. Looking for auto or home insurance? Call Mondris American Health Insurance Services. 855-993-0667. Looking for different products to market or sell at your online store? Call Sales Nexus 855-781-1788. Looking for small business solution software to market at to uh, use at your to market at your store use at your store uh, call Sog Software eight five five nine eight zero three zero zero three. Looking for communication services for your home or business call Jive Communications eight five five four five zero five three three seven. Looking for a reverse mortgage, senior citizen, or facing foreclosure in a senior citizen? Call Qualified Reverse Leads, 877-288-3715. Been injured in an automobile accident or work injury accident? Call Steppacher Law Firm at 888-439-3370. Looking to attend a college or university? Call the National Education Center at 866-947-9784. In need of credit repair, call Credit Repair at 888-855-3560. Looking to do some travel this winter, call Skylux Travel, 855-394-1552. Need an 800 number for your home or business, call Range Central, 877-590-6374. Looking to attend the Pete Academy Learning Care Group School, call 877-915-6850. That is it for my commercial announcements, and now I will go into the lesson. Then Yosef went in and told Pharaoh, My brother, my father and brothers have come from the land of Kenan with their flocks, livestock, and all their possessions. Right, right now they are in the land of Goshen. He took five of his brothers and presented them to Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to his brothers, What is your occupation? They answered Pharaoh, your servants are shepherds, both we and our ancestors. And added, we have come to the live in the land, because in the land of Canaan there is no place to pasture your servants' flocks. The famine is so severe there. Therefore, please let your servants live in the land of Goshen. Pharaoh said to Yosef, your father and brother have come to you, and the land of Egypt lies before you. Have your father and brothers live on the best property in the country. Let them live in the land of Goshen. Moreover, if you know that some of them are particularly competent, put them in charge of my livestock. Yosef then brought in Yochavish's father and presented him to Pharaoh. And Yochav blessed Pharaoh, and Pharaoh asked Yochav, How old are you? And Yochav 
So Pharaoh also, Yusuf's father, becomes a blessing to Pharaoh. Just as God blessed Pharaoh because of Yusuf, he now blesses him because of Yochav. Yochav replied, the time of my share on this earth has been 130 years. Then they, they have been few and difficult. Fewer than the years my ancestors lived. Then Yochav blessed Pharaoh and left his presence. Yosef found a place for his father and brothers and gave them property in the land of Egypt, in the best region of the country, in the land of Ramses, as Pharaoh had ordered. Yosef provided food for his father, his brothers, and all his father's household, taking full care of even the youngest. <clears throat> there was no food anywhere, for the famine was very severe, so that both Egypt and Canaan grew weak from hunger. Yusuf collected all the money there was in Egypt and Canaan in exchange for the grain they brought and put the money in Pharaoh's treasury. When all the money in Egypt had been spent and likewise in Canaan, all the Egyptians approached Yusuf and said, Give us something to eat, even though we have no money. Why should we die before your eyes? Yusuf replied, Give me your livestock. If you don't have money, I will give you food in exchange for your livestock. So they brought Yusuf their livestock, and Yusuf gave them food in exchange for the horses, flocks, cattle, and donkeys. All that year he provided them with food in exchange for all their livestock. When that year was over, they approached Yusuf again and said to him, We won't hide from my lord that all our money is spent, and the herds of livestock belong to my lord. We have nothing left, as my lord can see but our bodies and our land. Why should we die before your eyes, both we and our land? Buy us and our land for food, and we and our land will be enslaved to Pharaoh. But also give us some seed to plant, so that we can stay alive and not die, and so that the land won't become barren. So Yeshua acquired all the land in Pharaoh in Egypt for Pharaoh. As one by one the Egyptians sold their fields, because the famine weighed on them was so severely, was because the famine weighed on them so severely. Thus the land became the property of Pharaoh. As for the people, he reduced them to septum city by city, one end of Egypt territory to the other. Only the priests' land did he not acquire because the priests were entitled to provisions from Pharaoh. And they ate from what Pharaoh provided them, therefore they did not sell their land. <clears throat> then Yosef said to the people, As of the day I have acquired you and your land for Pharaoh, here is seed for you to sow the land. When the harvest time comes, you are to give 20% to Pharaoh. 80% will be yours to keep for seed to plant in the fields, as well as for your food, and for that all of your households and your little ones. They replied, You have saved our lives, so if it please my Lord, we will be Pharaoh's slaves. You have made it a law for the country of Egypt, valid to this day, that Pharaoh should have 20% only the property belonging to the priests did not become Pharaoh's. Israel lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. They acquired possession in it and were productive and their numbers multiplied greatly. <clears throat> Yoga lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. Thus Yoga lived to be 147 years old. The time came when Israel was approaching death. So he called for his son, Yosef, and said to him, If you truly love me, please put your hand under my thigh and pledge that out of consideration for me, you will not bury me in Egypt. Rather, when I sleep with my fathers, you are to carry me out of Egypt and bury me where they are buried. So even we see here, death is sleep, because Israel even tells us sleep when he sleeps with his fathers. But the state that I we've learned about, no consciousness, you can't move or do anything, but yet they could, the wicked in hell are being tormented. It goes on. He replied, I will do as you have said. He said, swear it to me, and he swore it to him. 
Then Israel bowed down at the head of his bed. Now what we also see here is learn how the Illuminati uh, <clears throat> or the Masons become so powerful. Because Pharaoh is a place, Pharaoh was a devil worshiper. And uh, these powers uh, came from his rulership over the people. So we see here the first strike when Pharaoh acquired everything and everyone as a slave in Egypt and built his wealth off of them. It just passed on from generation to generation, which is how we see the Illuminati became so powerful with banks and owning everything. All right, that is my ministry for today. And I'm going to say a prayer and then I'll be leaving you. Good, I petition you that you strengthen the brothers and sisters up. Strengthen them up against the worldly fears, the Illuminati, the Satan worshippers, the idol worshippers. Give them the heart of a courageous lion or bear over to such things that dwell on the, in the world today. Let them not fear Satan and his demons, not the goat-shaped demons, nor any form of demons. Let them not have any, any fear of the government. But be in subjection, as the scriptures point out, for as long as it does not interfere with the scriptures. I pray that you watch over and guide them and bless them and protect them. And I pray this in the name of Yeshua. Amen.